be honest. As I get older, it gets harder to lie, to tell lies to people, to make them feel better about themselves. I can do it. <laughs> I, I won't. And I know that lying is generally associated with being a son of a bitch. You're lying, son of a bitch! <laughs> etc., etc. But I think that's wrong, actually. Because sons of bitches will tell you what they think. The truth. That's why on the whole, you try to avoid them. And lately, the best I can do is hold back. Like, um, my nephew, my nephew Ben showed me this drawing he done of a tiger. A tiger attacking a bus. <laughs> it was terrible. No, total crap. Even for his age. And a few years ago, I would have said, you know, well done, Ben, that's much better than what I could do when I was 10, but it wasn't. I mean, I was pretty good. <laughs> no, really, I won some awards. And his was... Still, I couldn't lie to him, I couldn't bring myself to... So I just walked away, <laughs> left him there, in the garden, <laughs> waving his drawing about. <laughs> ben. <laughs> work is also Ben. I work for the government. Woo! Thanks. <laughs> At the Department of Social and Inclusion Affairs in this big modern fucking glass building, and I work in this section called the Strategic and Tactical Development Team. Yeah. STD. <laughs> T. If you ever worked in civil service anywhere like that, as a matter of fact, you probably know that the word that is most solidly abused, along with ethnic and community, is strategic. Honestly, if you replace the word strategic in most government reports with the word anus just in your head, then you always make much more sense. <laughs> Because then at least they relate to something out here in the real world that exists. Anuses. <laughs> Technical gets abused less, but the people who really get their finger in with strategic tend to throw tactical a lot. Even though they mean completely opposite things that effectively cancel each other out. Development doesn't mean anything at all. No, not in a government context at least. And team just means more than one person. Yeah, so the STD, T, could be called some humans trying to find out what's going on. And that. Shatetawawa goat. Which I quite like. But someone, some faceless, came up with the strategic and tactical development team. I joined nine months ago and probably the most frustrating thing is that I don't understand on nearly any level what they are meant to be doing. I do know it's linked to inclusion policy. Now I'm, I'm a bit of an expert on social inclusion, really. I would never say it at a party or anything. It's <laughs> just not very sexy, really. But I, I am. I am. So I know. I know how disinclined we all are to and how much we like to stick together with our own whether that's race or class or both. Despite every, everything we know, like how, how money used to support different kind of groups actually helps to segregate them. Or how there are third and fourth generation children born in my country with no real understanding of our language, culture. Yeah, it's hard to pull with that kind of stuff. Really. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, honest. Cool. So, uh, thanks for getting up here. I mean, you guys just came right to New York City, right here, and just performed. That's really. Yeah, trying to. <laughs> trying to. <laughs> no, I, we're here, like, we're, we're um, Israel, a theater group called Theater Khan, and we have Honest. And did you? No, 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 oh, you no. Are? yeah, you do. You do. Okay, okay. <laughs> you, you did it very good. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I practice this whole date thing, yeah. days and dates. It's, um, Thursday the 16th at 3 p.m. And he's drinking while I do this. Friday the 17th at 7 p.m. Sunday the 18th at 12.20 p.m. Wednesday the 21st at 7 p.m. Saturday the 25th at 4 p.m. And Sunday the 26th at 1 p.m.
Yeah, and also we have shows, a show here called Dogs, and uh, other uh, different dates and stuff, but uh, I, I, we don't have the hours right now. <laughs> All right, and they are at the Huron Club, yeah. so a Playhouse, and you can go to their website at theater can, T H E A T E R can dot com. Awesome. That was great. It's been an awesome night, huh? How cool. How many great shows have we seen tonight so far? Seriously. Okay, here we go. Rolling for Israel. Oh, no, no, no. I thought you worked for the government. So, okay, rolling for himself. 13! Oh, oh, Jeff, you want to tell him how this one works? Well, this one works. This is FF number one of two, or two of two. This is called Fringe Freebie 2. Uh, do you want to grab it, Charlie? Yes, I do. All right. But here's the thing. This is, has an extra F for freaky. This is the Freaky Friday Fringe Freebie, which means... Who won the first freebie? Raise your hands. Oh, there we go. Our lovely friends from San Fran. So, you have the option before you see this. You can show them what you won. The wonderful water bottle. <laughs> so neat wonderful by fringe you. water bottle, which is very needed in this climate. Now you can take their gift and give them your gift before, I say it. before you see this gift, or you can have your gift and everybody goes home with what they, with who they came with to the party. Both of the bottles? Uh, we'll just we'll say one. We'll just say one. Be dangerous. What do you, what? Sorry, I will take my karma. Okay, so we keep the uh, wonderful free. Ready? What'd you win? Oh, there, there's the thing. Oh, there's the thing. Oh, should have trade. You were good with that trade. You were good with that trade. It wasn't like behind door number three, a goat. You know? <laughs> 